Okay, here we're simplifying the summer difference of a higher radical. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my 32. I know that's four times eight, two times two, two times four, and two times two. So I get all, all of these primes. Now I'm doing the cube root. So I'm going to get a group of three. So one, two, three, there's my group of three. So two to the third power. But I have these guys left over which means I'm gonna have the cube root of those guys that are left over. For the variable, I'm gonna say x to the eight over three. Now, I mean, you can keep going with this or you can just do the same thing on the other side. So 108 is nine times 12, which is three times three, four times three, and two times two. So these are my primes. This two is already there then I'm gonna have the cube root and a group of three. Now I have these guys that are in my group of three, 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 three. So three to the third power. But I also have these guys left over, so two times two. Or you could put two squared, same thing. Um, and then I have x to the eight over the index three. So here these are gonna cancel, I'm gonna have two. Here, they're just gonna multiply those together. Here, three goes into eight two times with two left over, right? Two goes, or I'm sorry, three goes into eight twice, but that only gives me six, so I still have two left over. And then here, we got two, and that gives me three. This will give me the cube root of four, and this similarly is the same, x squared, and then x to the two-thirds. So. I'm gonna put this and this back in its radical form and multiply what I can. So I notice that this and this, I can multiply together. And this becomes the third root of x squared. This guy, this guy, and this guy multiplied together give me six x squared and then third root of four, and that guy is the third root of x squared. So I can multiply these together. I get the third root of four x squared. And then I have x squared and the cube root of four x squared in common. So what is negative two plus six? It's positive four, and I keep all of that like part the same. And this is the final answer. Now, let's go ahead and simplify another one. This one's very similar. It's just the fourth index instead of the third index. So I'm going to take 162, that's 2 times 81, um, 9 times 9, 3 times 3, 3 times 3. I have this 3 to write down, and then I need a group of 4. I do have a group of 4. But I also have this prime left over. So I have the fourth root of two as well. And then I have x to the 10 over four. Here, five, one, two. Um, I know that's two times five, one, two divided by two is 256 divided by two is 128 divided by two is 64 divided by 2 is 32, 16, 2 times 8, oh gosh, 2 times 4, and then 4 is 2 times 2. So I have all of these ends. I ran out of space there. So I broke up 512 into 2 times 256, broke up that into 2 times 128, 2 times 164, 2 times 32, 2 times 16, 2 times 8, 2 times 4, but then the 4 broke up into 2 times 2. I couldn't go into this QR code. I wouldn't be able to see my 2s. So remember, you need a group of 4. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. These guys together make 2 to the 4th. Do I have another group of four? One, two, three, four. I do. These guys make another group of four. But then I have this guy by himself. So the fourth root of two. And then x to the 10 over four. 
So here we get three times, those are gonna cancel, three, this one's gonna stay. This is gonna become x to the, four goes into 10 twice with two left over. Is that right? Four goes into 10, um, two times. Yep, with two left over. Plus, um, those are gonna cancel, we get two. Those are gonna cancel, we get two. That's gonna stay the same. And this is gonna be two, and then two to the fourth. Now don't simplify this, because if you simplify this to one half, you won't be talking about a fourth power anymore. And you need to, because you need to combine this radical with this radical. So you don't wanna change this into one half, causing this to become a square root, because then you can't combine the square root with the fourth root. So be sure not to reduce that exponent, okay? So these multiplied together gives me nine x squared, fourth root of two, and then this I'm just gonna convert to the uh, radical form, x squared. Here I'm gonna take two times two times x squared, I get four x squared, and then the fourth root of two and convert this guy back into its radical form. So multiply the radical parts together. We get two x squared inside the house. Same thing over here, we get two x squared inside the house. The houses match and the variables match. So these are like terms. And nine plus four is 13. So I get 13 of those like terms. And so this is the final answer. So that one I wanted to talk about because even though it looks like you can simplify that fraction, you don't want to. You want to put it back in its radical form so that it can stay a fourth uh, root so you can combine it with the other fourth root. So be very careful there.